Here they come. They're off and trotting between horses, sunrise diamonds for the lead, but there goes East Ridge Star, and it's East Ridge Star. He powers on through now to take command. It's Sunrise Diamonds on the outside, second, double stitch. His three lengths back in third. Here comes Speedy Charger, ranging up on the outside, followed by Flash Finn. On the inside of horses, that's Scorchy, followed by Moon Randolph and Shy Lane Trilling. Approaching the opening quarter, it's East Ridge Star, two lengths. Here comes Speedy Charger on the attack at the quarter. 29 and four, the first quarter. East Ridge Star maintains a leader length and a half. It's Speedy Charger parked on the outside. Sunrise Diamonds is right there in third. Double stitch takes to the outside, followed by Scorchy, followed by Flash Finn and Shyline. Approaching the half mile marker, it's East Ridge Star with the lead. It's Speedy Charger on the outside of challenging second. Sunrise Diamonds is right there in third. It's Double Stitch out with cover and Flash Finn. 101 and 2, the race is half over. Now they trot into the clubhouse turn. East Ridge Star has the lead. Here comes Scorchy. Three wide on the outside, followed by Sunrise Diamonds. On the inside of horses, Flash Finn. Out of the turn, they curve into the box stretch. East Ridge Star, your leader on neck. Scorchy moves at him on the outside. Second, Sunrise Diamonds is right there in third. It's a gap to double stitch. They're driving for the final quarter. Your leader is East Ridge Star. 132 and 2 for the three quarters. East Ridge Star has the lead and sprints clear. It's Sunrise Diamonds on the inside, followed by Scorchy and Flash Finn. Now they're in the final eighth of a mile, and your leader is East Ridge Star. Here they come trotting for home. It's East Ridge Star opening up the lead. On the inside of horses, that's Sunrise Diamonds. It's East Ridge Star. Sunrise Diamonds is charging. East Ridge Star is under a heavy whip. It is East Ridge Star at the wire. Sunrise Diamonds and Double Stitch. Out of the turn. Here they come. They're off on the outside. There goes Fox Valley. Jessica for the lead and off stride is due by myself as they approach the opening first turn and on the outside of horses with a rush here comes fox valley jessica as they race around that first turn on the inside red sick rorty has the lead jennifer l is right there in second it's fox valley jessica parked and driving in third followed by fox valley heiress on the inside of horses that's holly's chair as they approach the opening quarter it's red silk rorty with the leader like that the quarter 30 seconds flat and red silk rorty leads the way like jennifer l is right there a second it's fox valley jessica parked on the outside followed by fox valley heiress followed now by holly shear and on the outside here comes do by myself followed by bonnier's bonfire visible yankee trails the field it's a battle up front here comes fox valley jessica and fox valley jessica has a neck in front red skelk rorty is right there in second here comes fox valley heiress and they're halfway home 102 flat into the clubhouse turn, and Fox Valley Eris is up on the outside to challenge Fox Valley Jessica for the lead. It's due by myself, followed by Red Silk Rorty and Jennifer L. Out of the turn, they curve into the back stretch, and Fox Valley Eris now has the lead of length. On the inside, it's Fox Valley Jessica, second due by myself. On the inside of horses, Red Silk Rorty. Jennifer Allen Holly's chair. Now they race for the final quarter mile. And Fox Valley Eras leads the way to by himself. He's on the outside trying to come on second. It's Fox Valley Jessica in third. Around the final turn. It's Fox Valley Eras with the lead to by himself. And Fox Valley Jessica. 
Here they come, turning for home, and Fox Valley Eris cuts to the corner all alone. It's Fox Valley Jessica in second on the outside of horses. That's Fox Valley Eris in the second. Your leader is Fox Valley Eris. It is all Fox Valley Eris tonight. Do by myself is second. Close for third. Gate is running. Field moves to the top of the turn. Third race pacers are in behind the starting gate. Here they come. They're off. There goes Noble Hero right for the lead. Now they race for position. Noble Hero is on the outside. There goes Doomsday. He's right there in second. That's Sir Fullart. In third, now by three lengths, followed by favorite Mohawk. In fourth, by four lengths, skip to applause. Followed on that turn by Yes Sir Bunny. It's Mutt and Trailing. That's Charlie Bear approaching the first quarter. And your leader to the quarter is Noble Hero. It's Doomsday. He's getting the trip second, two lengths, and surf alert. They're off the first quarter. 28 and four positions unchanged and noble hero has the lead it's doomsday in second two lengths surf alert in third two lengths its favorite mohawk he's out slightly in fourth followed by skip to applause followed by yes sir buddy mutt and charlie bear approaching the half mile marker it's noble hero with the lead its favorite mohawk now in second followed by doomsday it skipped to applause on their halfway home 59 and 2. The races have over. Now they race into the clubhouse turn, and Noble Hero hands the lead three parts of a length as favorite Mohawk. Moves at him on the outside second. It's Doomsday getting the trip. Skip to applause with cover, followed by Sir Fullart. Out of the turn, they curve into the black stretch, and here comes favorite Mohawk. Favorite Mohawk with a neck in front. Noble Hero is fighting to come back. Skip to applause on the inside. Doomsday, here comes Mutt. Three quarters. 130 and one into the final turn and favorite mohawk leads the way but skip to applause moves into second between horses doomsday on the outside mutt now they're in the final eighth of a mile it's favorite mohawk here comes skip to applause and down the stretch they come it's favorite mohawk skip to applause here comes doomsday and he's charging through here comes surf alert flying it's surf alert and doomsday it is surf alert doomsday at Bye -bye. Here they come. They're off. It's editorial comment on the outside. There goes Noble Leader and Holiday King. Those three as they drive into the first turn, but editorial comment now powers on by. And editorial comment opens up two lengths. It's Holiday King, second, three lengths, Noble Leader. His third, two lengths, Casino Special, Fleet Wing, Slum Lord TJ Anthony, and Personal Property Trending. And your leader to the quarter is editorial comment two lengths. It's Holiday King, second, three lengths. Noble leader in third, two lengths, Casino Special, followed by Fleet Wing and Slum Lord. They're by the quarter, 30 and two, the quarter positions unchanged. Editorial comment maintains a leader length in three quarters. It's Holiday King right there in second, Casino Special is first over into third, followed by Noble leader in fourth. And to the outside, Fleet Wing Slum Lord. 
T.J. Anthony and personal property approaching the half mile marker. It's editorial comment with the late casino special inching into second. Holiday King is right there in third and they're halfway home. 102 flat into the clubhouse turn and it's editorial comment maintaining the lead but Holiday King is getting the trip second casino special. His first over and third followed by Fleet Wing with cover. On the inside, it's Noble Leader and Slumlord. Out of the turn, they curve into the box stretch. And editorial come out. Maintains a little length. It's Casino Special trying to come on second. On the inside of horses, Holiday King is right there in third. Followed on the outside, Fleet Wing at the three quarters. 132. Now they drive into the final turn. Editorial Comment has the lead. On the outside, Casino Special second. Holiday King, his only hope will be the open stretch. Here they come, turning for home. And Editorial Comment cuts the corner. On the outside, Casino Special is there. On the inside, Holiday King. It's Editorial Comment and Holiday King. It is Editorial Comment, Holiday King. And Noble Leader up for third. Combination of four to eight. Returning $3,838.20, $3,838.20 on the $2 pick three, a four, two, and a. Post for Maywood's fifth race in 15 minutes. Now it's on to Balmoral. Here they come. Off stride is handsome chap. They're off. It's Corky's incredible between horses. There goes Maravetti. Joined on the inside by Skillax. Into the turn and Maravetti moves between horses. Now to take command Skillax. He's right there in second. Corky's incredible. Parked and driving in third. Pull it on the inside. It's Duo Mad Max and Dealing Fella. Out of the turn, now they race for the quarter. Here comes Mike Morales and Corky's incredible with a rush. Corky's incredible now to take command. And off stride momentarily. Corky's incredible at the quarter. 30 seconds flat. And Corky's incredible sprints clear by two. It's Moravetti second in length. Skillax takes to the outside. Followed by Duo Mad Max. It's Dealing Fella followed by Fab. Followed by Arted Tricks and Handsome Chap. Approaching the half mile marker. And Skillax is up to challenge and now take command. Corky's incredible. Holds in second, Duo Mad Max. Inching into third, bullet on the inside by Moravetti. Dealing fella, the field's halfway home. A minute and four, and Skillax has the lead into the clubhouse. Turn a length and a quarter. On the outside, Duo Mad Max in second. It's Corky's incredible dealing fella. Moravetti is there. Out of the turn, they curve into the box stretch. Positions unchanged, and Skillax maintains the lead, Duo Mad Max. Drives at him on the outside, a challenging second. It's Corky's incredible and off stride was Artitrex. Out of the turn, now they curve into the box stretch. They're driving by the three quarters and Duo Mad Max now has the lead. 131 and three and Duo Mad Max has a neck in front. On the inside, it's Skillax trying to come back. It's Corky's incredible. He takes to the outside in third. Now they're in the final eighth of a mile. On the inside, Skillax, it's Duo Mad Max. Corky's incredible, and down the stretch they come. Skillax cuts the corner. On the outside, Corky's incredible. Duo Mad Max between horses. Duo Mad Max between horses. Duo Mad Max and Skillax at the wire. All right. Here they come. They're off. Rush Creek Snow between horses on the inside. Hang on, Liz is there. Joined by Admiral Zama. Into the turn and hang on, Liz. Benefits from the inside, it's Admiral Zama. 
right there in second, that's Rush Creek Snow. Perkton driving third, Emirate Well Manor. In fourth, the length and a quarter, good Contessa. Followed by Starborn Hill. It's on Medora trailing Sharon Mack. Approaching the opening quarter, Hang on Liz has the lead to Lanks. Admiral Zemma is second at the quarter. 30 and 1 the quarter positions unchanged. Hang on Liz maintains the lead. It's Admiral Zemma right there in second. Here comes Emirate Wellmanner. First over into third, Norris Creek Snow. Good Contessa. It's Starborn Hill. It's on Modora and Sharon Mack. Heading for the half mile marker, and your leader is Hang on Liz. It's Admiral Zemmer right there in second. It's Emirate Wellmanner up on the outside of challenge. Admiral Zemma back to third. Good Contessa Starborn Hill. A minute and four, the race is half over. Into the clubhouse turn and hang on Liz. Has the lead of length. It's Emirate Wallmanner on the outside. Second, it's Admiral Zemma. Right there in third. Good Contessa following cover. Followed by Rush Creek Snow. It's Starborn Hill. Followed by Amadora and Sharon Mack. Out of the turn, they curve into the back stretch. It's hang on Liz with the lead. It's Emirate Wallmanner, Admiral Zemma. Followed on the outside. Good Contessa. Three quarters, one thirty and three. Into the final turn they roll and hang on. Liz has the lead three parts of a length. It's Emirate Wallmanner trying to come on second. Admiral Zemma needs racing room. Good Contessa. Here they come turning for home. And hang on, Liz got to the corner. Emirate Wallmanner is out for the drive. On the inside, it's Admiral Zemma. It's hang on, Liz with the lead. Emirate Wallmanner. It's hang on, Liz. Hang on, Liz. Hangs on at the wire. Here they come. They're off. There goes Broadway Flair on the outside for the lead. Between horses, Sean K. There goes Nice and Anxious and First Pot of Gold. A three-way battle into that first turn. And First Pot of Gold now has the lead. Nice and Anxious holds in second. Here comes Ticked Off. Now fourth, now third. Parked and driving on the outside. Approaching the quarter and Ticked Off is up to challenge. First Pot of Gold for the lead. It's Nice and Anxious right there in third. It's Sean K. followed by Broadway Flair. It's Hong Kong Jade Counter Sign Handy. 29 and 1 the first quarter. And ticked off. Leads the way by two lengths. It's first pot of gold in second by two lengths. Followed by Nice and Anxious in third two lengths. Sean R.K. Counter Sign approaching the half mile marker. And it's all ticked off. Ticked off leads two and a half lengths. It's first pot of gold right there in second, followed by countersign taking over second, moving up to challenge ticked off for the lead. They're halfway home, 59 and four into the clubhouse turn and ticked off. Maintains a lead on the outside. It's countersign a challenging second, followed by first pot of gold right there in third. It's handy following cover. On the inside, nice and anxious Hong Kong Jane. On the inside, it's Sean R.K. and Broadway Flair. Out of the turn, they come into the box to Rich and ticked off. Has a neck in front, countersign. He's alongside a challenging second. Followed on the inside, first pot of gold needs racing room. Three quarters, one thirty and two into the final turn and ticked off. Now sprints clear again. On the outside, that's countersign. First pot of gold handy. Hong Kong Jane. Here they come, turning for home, and ticked off, opens up now by three lengths. It's handy on the outside, and first pot of gold. Down the stretch they come, it's ticked off with the lead. It's handy on the outside, a late move by Nice and Anxious. It's ticked off with the lead. Here comes Nice and Anxious. At those two at the wire, that is a photo. Seven, four, eight, two on the bottom. Post for my woods, eighth. In 18 minutes, now it's back to Balmoral. Eighth race pacers are in behind the starting gate. Here they come.
The Rolf fan pacing, there goes 46 guns right for the lead. Phantom as there is a race for position. And 46 guns now has the lead, but Phantom drives at him on the outside. Phantom now to take command. It's 46 guns, second Frank Henry. His third now by four lengths, Sockey's Dart. His fourth two lengths, he's a trim two step. Followed on that turn now by Key Rama. It's Russian dancer and legendary lad. And from the outside of the rush, here comes 46 guns, 28 and 3 of the quarter. It's 46 guns now by two lengths. It's Phantom back to second, two lengths. It's Frank Henry right there in third, two lengths. Hockey's dart on the inside of horses. He's a trim two step. And Key Rama positions on change approaching the half mile marker. And 46 guns maintains a two length lead. Phantom takes up the leader's second. Sockey's dart first over, followed by Frank Henry. He's a trim two step and key rama. 58 seconds flat, the race is half over. Into the clubhouse turn they roll, and 46 guns has the lead a length. It's Phantom right there, second a length. Sockey's dart is on the outside, third, followed by Frank Henry. He's a trim two step with cover. Key Rama and Russian Dancer. Out of the turn, they curve into the box stretch, and 46 Guns has the lead. Sockey's Dart digs in on the outside second. There goes he's a trim two step. Three quarters on the board, 127 and four into the final turn. 46 Guns, three parts of a length. Sockey's Dart is on the attack on the outside second, followed by he's a trim two step. Frank Henry finds racing room and he is charging. Here they come turning for home. Here comes Sookie's dart, but here comes Frank Henry with a rush. And Frank Henry on the outside now to challenge Sookie's dart for the lead. It is Frank Henry on the outside at the wire. Sookie's dart close for third, 46 guns. Ninth race, Pacers in behind the starting gate. Here they come. They're off. There goes Purple Majesty under urging Zambuka Goldsmith. Those three as they hit the first turn and Zambuka benefits from the inside. Purple Majesty now looks to drop in second. Here comes Goldsmith inching third on the outside, followed by Chief Guy Asuda. Test of Oets approaching the opening quarter. And your leader to the quarter is Zambuka, followed by Purple Majesty second by two lengths. It's Goldsmith in third, two lengths, and Chief Guy Asuda. 28 and 2 the first quarter. Positions unchanged. Zambuka has that two length lead. It's Purple Majesty, second two lengths, Goldsmith. Third two lengths, it's Chief Gaia Suda. In fourth two lengths, here comes Satin Star, followed by Chestavoitz. It's Thread Grinder and Batlin BG. They're heading for the half mile marker. Zambuka maintains a two length lead. It's Purple Majesty, second two lengths, Goldsmith. In third, and they're halfway home. 58 seconds flat. Positions on change as they roll into the clubhouse turn. It's Zambuka with the lead. Purple Majesty is getting the trip second. Goldsmith tips to the outside third. Satin Star now moving up with cover. Followed by Testovitz. Out of the turn they come into the box to rush. It's Zambuka with the lead. Now Goldsmith is up on the outside of the rush. Goldsmith now to challenge for the lead. Three quarters on the board. One twenty-eight ten one 1 and Goldsmith. Now has the lead a length. It's Zambuka, second two lengths. Purple Majesty is third satin star. Pulled on the inside, Chief Gaia Suta. Around the final turn, Zambuka is coming back. Here they come, turning for home, and Zambuka is under urging. It's Goldsmith out for the drive. Zambuka, Goldsmith, Purple Majesty. Purple Majesty is flying. Purple Majesty, fastest of all.
Here they come. They're off. It's Ruffian Dancer right for the lead. On the outside, Willie B. Rich, and there goes Marengo Lane. Now they charge into that first turn, and Ruffian Dancer benefits from the inside. It's Marengo Lane right there in second. On the outside of horses, Willie B. Rich. Now jumps in third. It's Call again. Followed in that first turn as they race for the quarter. And Ruffian Dancer maintains a little length and a quarter. Marengo Lane is second two lengths. Will he be rich? Right there and third. They're off the quarter. 28 and four. The quarter. Ruffian Dancer. A length and a half. Marengo Lane is second. Now a length. Will he be rich? Right there and third. Here comes Dubo Fiddle Skipper. Followed on the outside. Here comes Carolina Hurricane. Followed now by Colligan. Max Bow and Trailing Brass Door. Approaching the half mile marker, it's Ruffian Dancer, but here comes Dubo Fiddle Skipper with a rush. And Dubo Fiddle Skipper now powers up to challenge and take command. They're halfway home. 58 and 4, and Dubo Fiddle Skipper into the clubhouse turn now has the lead a length and a quarter. On the outside, Carolina Hurricane is an up and challenging second. Ruffian Dancer is right there in third. Max Bow takes to the outside. Marengo Lane followed on the outside by Culligan. Out of the turn, they curve into the back stretch. Here comes Carolina Hurricane up to challenge and now put a nose in front. Duo Fiddle Skipper is fighting to come back, followed by Ruffian Dancer. Three quarters, one twenty-seven and four into the final turn. Dubo Fiddle Skipper isn't finished yet and is coming back. On the outside, it's Carolina Hurricane and Ruffian Dancer. Here they come, turning for home. It's Dubo Fiddle Skipper with the lead. Carolina Hurricane is out for the drive. Down the stretch they come. Dubo Fiddle Skipper, Carolina Hurricane and Ruffian Dancer. Here comes Carolina Hurricane. It's those two at the wire. Too close to call. That is a photo. Six. It was six out of six, the winner. And that is worth $18,658.60. $18,658.60. Field moves to the top of the turn. Eleventh race pacers and behind the starting gate. Here they come. And ain't easy to lags behind. They're off and pacing. There goes Prince Du Jour out fast for the lead. There goes Loyalty Ranger as they race for position. Loyalty Ranger benefits from the inside. Prince Du Jour now third, moving into second. Be reasonable. Is right there in third. A length and a quarter. Okay, is no bullet gap to the bird, whoever blue chip. Total effort done, it ain't easy. A battle up front, Loyalty Ranger is on the inside, but Prince Du Jour is on the attack at the quarter. 28 and 1, Prince Du Jour now has the little length and a quarter. Loyalty Ranger is right there, second, two lengths. It's B Reasonable right there in third, now by two lengths. Okay, is no ball. It's Weber Blue Chip. Followed by the bird and to the outside. It's total effort and far, far back. It ain't easy. They're heading for the half mile marker. Loyalty Ranger up on the outside, but B Reasonable is on the attack. Followed by Prince Du Jour. They're halfway home. 58 and 2 into the clubhouse turn, and Loyalty Ranger leads the way as B Reasonable moves on him on the outside. A challenging second, Prince Du Jour. Weber Blue Chip followed on the inside. It's okay's no bull and total effort. Out of the turn, they come into the box stretch, and Loyalty Ranger leads three parts of a length. Be reasonable is on the outside trying to come on second. Prince Du Jour is right there in third. A length on the outside. Weber Blue Chip. They're by the three quarter mile mark. 128 done for into the final turn. Be reasonable is on the outside with a neck in front. 
Loyalty Ranger is fighting to come back. On the outside, Weber Blue Chip is there. Prince du jour, his only hope, the open stretch. Here they come, turning for home. Loyalty Ranger cuts the corner. Be Reasonable is out for the drive. Prince du jour ducks to the inside. It's Loyalty Ranger on the outside. Weber Blue Chip three wide. Here comes Weber Blue Chip. Three horses at the wire. That is a photo.